the Samsung Galaxy A6 Plus. A few weeks back, we actually covered the launch of this phone and in today's video, let's finally unbox it. The A6 Plus is the latest to join Samsung's mid-range lineup for 2018 and it seems to take a lot of right boxes. Tall display check, dual rear cameras check, face unlock check. So let's get this one out of the box, shall we? Hey guys, Ash here from C4E Tech and as always, here's a card to a latest giveaway. We'll also be leaving a link in the description below. And while you're down there, please hit that bell icon so that you get notified every time a new video goes live here on C4E Tech. So let's now get started. The A6 Plus comes in a fairly regular white box. Turning it around, we have some of the basic specs printed to the back. Let's now peel the plastic off and take a peek inside. First up, we have the phone itself wrapped in plastic. Let's take that off as well. Uh, we have the gold variant of the A6 Plus in here. The metal unibody design looks quite nice. Anyway, let's set that aside for the time being. We then have a few information booklets, a SIM ejector tool, a micro USB cable. Sadly, there's no Type C still for Samsung mid rangers. There's also a basic pair of earbuds. And the last thing in the box is the wall adapter. Let's now get to the phone and boot it up for the first time. The A6 Plus is a true Samsung mid ranger, and you can see that right from the design choices. The centrally placed dual rear cameras, as well as that fingerprint sensor, reminds me of the S9 Plus. Well, the all metal belt with those curved antenna lines, we've seen that before on the J7 Pro as well. Uh, but while the design might be a mishmash of elements from flagship as well as budget segments, one thing is undeniable in hand, the A6 Plus does feel great. The metal body adds a bit of heft to it and the tall display adds to the immersive experience. Speaking of display, we have a 6 inch Full HD Plus Infinity display covering the front of the device. Now Samsung has taken to calling all of the 18.5 by 9 panels as Infinity displays. So if you're going into this one expecting curved edges, you're gonna be disappointed. However, we do have a Super AMOLED panel, which means we have inky blacks and vibrant colors. Watching movies on this device should be an awesome experience, especially since this one has Dolby Atmos on board. Moving on to internals, we have a Snapdragon 450 chip on this guy. So that's 8 A53 cores clocked up to 1.8 GHz each. Now we've seen this chipset before on the Redmi 5, and while it's not really a performance powerhouse, it does handle most regular day-to-day -day tasks quite well. The Adreno 506 GPU should also be adequate for most gaming scenarios. Backing it up, we've got 4 gigs of RAM along with 64 gigs of onboard storage. And if you think that's not enough, well, the A6 Plus comes with dedicated micro SD slot for expandable storage. In fact, the left side of this device houses two slots. The first one is for a SIM, while the second is for a SIM and micro SD. While we are on the topic of placements, let's round the rest off as well. The volume buttons are to the left, the top is left clean, to the right we have the speaker grill as well as the power button. The bottom houses the 3.5mm headphone jack, primary mic and the micro USB port. The battery capacity is 3500 mAh. Coming to the software side of things, we have Samsung Experience 9.0 running on top of Android 8 Oreo. Now since this is Samsung, we have the usual bells and whistles like Samsung Mall and Bixby. While you might never end up using these, there are some others that I find super useful like for example Secure Folder. The fingerprint gestures for bringing down the notification shade, that's quite handy. The dual messenger lets you use two instances of the same app. Oh, and Samsung Pay Mini is here. Well, definitely not as useful as the full-fledged version of the app. Uh, it is quite useful. The rewards and cashback might make it worthwhile to at least give it a try. Uh, and then Samsung has also included their uh, chat over video. Now, this lets you reply to chats with while a video is playing in the background. Let's say, for example, with YouTube, you get a WhatsApp message, you can still reply to it. There is a translucent keyboard provided as well, so that kind of makes things a little easier. Samsung's even included face unlock here. In the limited time that we spent with the A6 Plus, it all worked out quite well. Since we're already on the topic of cameras, you know, with regards to face unlock, let's take a look at that next. The primary unit is a 16 megapixel f1.7 shooter, while the secondary is a 5 megapixel unit for depth sensing. To the front, we've got a whopping 24 megapixel f1.9 camera for selfies along with a dedicated selfie flash. On the software side of things, we have live focus on the rear camera, which is Samsung's interpretation of portrait mode. Now, the cool thing with live focus is that you're able to control the amount of blur you want on your photos. The front camera too has a selfie portrait mode. Other than that, we have a Pro Mode, AR stickers and of course Bixby Vision. Here are a few more sample shots that we took with this camera. Do tell us what you think about the quality of these images in the comments below. Now finally, let's talk price. Well, again, as of filming this video, we have no official confirmation about the price of the A6 Plus. But if we had to guess, we'd say it would be priced somewhere beneath the 20k mark, you know, 16 to 20. Uh, 
Once we do get the official pricing, we'll add it in the description below and the comments as well. That said, do you feel Samsung software, the name, the brand Samsung itself, the Infinity display, the build, the cameras, do you think they all are worth the asking price or is the fact that this still comes with the Snapdragon 450 a deal breaker for you? Uh, what do I think? Did you just ask me that? Well, hit that subscribe button down below and stay tuned. We'll be coming out of the full review in weeks coming up. Uh, and I'll talk all about that in the full review. So I guess that's it for this quick little unboxing and hands-on. Uh, it is time I bid you adieu. If you hated the video, you know what to do. But if you did like it, go ahead, give it a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button down below, like I said. And turn on notifications by clicking that bell icon. Till next time, my name's Ash. You've been watching C4E Tech. And I'm signing off. You guys have a great day. Bye-bye.